Yeah, I don't know what this guy's deal. He was like chasing after a vehicle. I'm assuming he's going to that gray car, but. It's like, anyway, the car pulls in from the alleyway behind Super Walmart. And like he's walking over towards the end of Walmart's property as the car comes in. And it's a great car similar to his. See, that's a serious problem because your blind spot, you got absolutely nothing watching it. So the one that's parallel with the building, it would have seen the incident about that time. But there's nothing covering the vehicle going out in that direction that I can visibly see. Okay, so I successfully contacted somebody inside Super Walmart that got me in touch with, uh, uh, what did they, asset protection management, something like that. Anyway, security management problem. I'm not too familiar with their security. So I just put this together. To give to <clears throat> to give to them. And primarily all they needed was the time and date of the event and the approximate location. But if they have enough video evidence and here's a self-certified statement okay and so that's about the time i returned back to my vehicle after providing uh, customer service with a copy of my written statement so as i'm just charging up my battery right now my computer draws a lot of power. Anyway, so as I've been sitting back here, um, today I'm just setting up my uh, CSL Plasma app account, whatever it is. Um, but as I've been over here, in this specific spot next to utility, You'll notice like this whole section of grass is dead and there's like a somewhere down there. There's a sprinkler system junction box. That looks like it got like half worked on and didn't get completed. Anyway, so this whole area is not like getting grass. This whole area is not getting water. It's like 100 degrees today again. Um, and the weeds are actually starting to die off. Which, it's not Walmart's property. But, because I assume this utility is for the entire Rimrock Shopping Center. Like there's no kind of fire protection whatsoever from the weeds. I mean, the, strain, the train itself, at these temperatures, steel against steel, it could throw a spark. 
whether the rocks are sufficient coverage distance to prevent a weed fire I have no idea anyway so that's one concern and even though the law doesn't that I've read does not require or state uh, or imply that it would be a criminal offense of trespassing into a fenced utility because it's not technically a, an enclosure in which a person can reside in or work in or whatever. It's just the technicality of legislation. I think they should be fenced in in a manner as which it would be a crime to get in there. Because as I look at it looks like one box has already had its ring pulled off and that would be pretty sloppy practice for utility maintenance if that's the case but then I notice over here that whatever utility used to be on this pole has been stripped off redirected out there and as I walked up to it I see seen probably I don't know, it's probably 15 feet or something like that, that it's cut off. So it's like somebody pulled all the wire out of whatever that system is, and you can see the shadow that it's not like a telephone pole. It's a, uh, could be, I don't know. It's all by itself, whatever it is. Maybe it was an old prior utility pole. So maybe, I'm just guessing, maybe Walmart asset management got clever and turned off the water in this area to indirectly uh, take away the privileges from the people that are trespassing in the railroad property in the weeded area that are camped out I haven't <clears throat> I haven't got any video fo footage of anybody actually going in there but there's a path right behind that box path there and I think there's another third path back in there somewhere anyway there's no way for a person to assume where the retail, commercial, property, mixed property, whatever, ends and the railroad property begins because the signs aren't posted correctly. And I assume because it's in city limits, that's a city DOT. But that sign does not say no stopping, parking, like it's supposed to. I have yet to find a no camping state law, so I don't know why, who or why came up with that provision. Not even on a county level has it been established yet. Good waste of money there. Aluminum sign too. But yeah, it's pretty dang dry. And there's what it looks like so I assume oh, it looks like there's two there huh either way around the railroad company needs to fence it off because there is no like five foot barrier between it I mean it is straight fence to fence backing <clears throat> the only thing I can suggest to super rip uh, super Walmart I would assume that's like um, a return like harassment act basically I'm just assuming I have no idea didn't witness it it's been this way for a while kind of like take my water I'll make another source I don't know but it'd probably be wise to have some kind of reasonable accommodation for uh, these people that are walking 
through the commercial lot in general. I mean, a uh, little park bench and water fountain that may be enough to deter some stuff, but it may also reveal that there's a lot of homeless that pass through the area or may need a temporary camping spot. And as long as obviously they're not stealing from the store, uh, it may pay for itself.